decided I'll take it back <clears throat> with this hat. Y'all look at some of my older, older videos. Um, I used to wear this hat a lot through reviews. Anyways, 2016, Happy New Year, you guys. Um, this year is going to be the year of change and, and just me just becoming more of an adult and many, many good things in line. Um, just random. Do you think that you do you guys think that I should um, review Real Housewives of Potomac? I think I'm going to try it out. Um, and um, other reality shows, y'all let me know. And I'll see what he can do. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. Sorry about the lateness of this review, guys, but it's been many things going on besides work. Um, I just recently got back into town from Atlanta. I went to um, Atlanta for New Year's. Um, so it's just been a lot of things going on, but I wanted to give you guys this review, and I have to catch up on Love & Hip Hop uh, New York. Because if a girl going to have beef with me, she going to have beef with me forever. Okay. So anyway, this episode was called Shade for Days, darling. And let's just get straight into it. So Shamia comes over and talks to Candy at the Candy Factory. Don Juan and Karma and her bangs. And um, so they're talking. And um, as we know, Shamia was there when Portia and Phaedra was talking um, at, at Candy's event. Um, uh, the video viewing with her and Demetria McKinney. Um, and, and, you know, they was talking about why her, why Phaedra and Candy aren't close no more and Todd and the whole $3,000 and all this money and this and that, whatever. Um, so, so Shamia and Candy are kind of close. So they comes over and talk. And, um, of course, Don Juan immediately interrupts their conversation and starts talking and, and throwing shade. She don't even know what the Underground Railroad is and, you know, just adding his input. And I just want Don Juan to get some strong black dick. That's really what I want Don Juan to get for 2016 or to go see a therapist or something to find out why he's so angry and just so, like, I understand Candy's your girl and you ride hard for Candy, but my God, Candy is a grown-ass woman. Like, you're not sleeping with her. Like, she's not even your sister. She's not your aunt. She's not... Ch have a seat. You just work for her. I understand y'all are good friends, but chill. Like, my God, that's not your fight. It's just not. Will Candy go that hard for you? We'll see. Will Todd go that hard for you, Don Juan? Coming over, y'all. I heard y'all talking about my peoples. Who gives a damn? With them people out of them teeth. Child. All right. So, um, basically, he's talking... And all that stuff, and and Candy was just like, you know what? Well, you know, I'm willing to talk, and you know, hopefully we can get over it. Blah blah blah. Um, Kenya's dad comes into town, who I love because he's so real, and he keeps it straight 100 with Kenya Moore. And he comes over, and um, you know, they're talking, and she's saying that she need a man, she need a husband, this and that. Maybe she'll stop being so crazy, Kenya. Maybe you'll get one. Kenya's absolutely beautiful. She's one of the most beautiful women in the world, in my opinion. But her antics and her personality is what's going to hold her back. But personally, I feel like um, the way that she acts on TV, I've said this before, the way she acts on TV is not the real her. That's just Kenya playing it up for the cameras because that's what you have to do to keep getting this check on this type of show. That's all I get from it. But, you know, whatever. Um, so he talking and she shows her dad the house and, um, she was just like, so dad, what do you think about the house? Um, and he, she, he was just like, you don't know what the hell, you don't know what, you don't want to know what the hell I think, boo. He goes around the corner and piss on the lawn. Like I'm sure many possums and raccoons have anyway. Um, so Portia, she's getting ready for the Emmy. She looks adorable. She got her glam squad, her group of queens together, and they're fixing her all up. And um, Portia looked really cute for the Emmys. Um, she interviewed a few people, um, and, and a few people, two guys that I noticed, well, they was kids, but teenagers now, um, from Modern Family, uh, two of the uh, co-stars from there, um, one of the guys from The Wire, I believe. Uh, who else is she? She saw Sofia Vergara. She waved at her and all that good stuff. So, you know, it was cute. Good for her, I guess. All right. Um, so Candy and Todd meet up with Cynthia and Peter. Cynthia walks in with her nasty for a Cynthia snatch to the gods. Peter better be thankful and glad he can get a woman that looks like Cynthia. Cynthia is sickening. You hear me? 
And um, so Candy comes in with this tight ass dress, and she about seventeen months pregnant. I don't know. Candy's known for wearing tight, cheap dresses though. It's extremely tight around her midsection. My God, why would you do that to your baby, let alone yourself, ma'am? All right, so um, they're talking and um. Basically, they start talking about Portia, and, and Candy was like, yeah, I'm, I was here for Portia and this and that. And it's so crazy how her and Phaedra are so, are so cool and all of a sudden such best friends and all that. It's just um, really weird when they wasn't that close. And, um, yeah, I supported her with her single. I helped her with her single and all that. And it was like, what was the name of it? What happened to the single? And Todd was like, um, it flatlined, you know, because it was the name of it, you know, trying to be funny. Um, they get into the whole restaurant business. Cynthia was just like, look, Candy, I, I realize that you're getting ready to have a baby. And you're also opening up a restaurant. Like, it's a lot. And then you're trying to um, check and see if your man cheating on you. It's a lot that you're going through right now, Candace. And you need to, like, chill out and um, not open it up. But this is whole Todd's dream and Todd's investment. Todd is very money hungry. So, you know, there you go. Um, I believe that Phaedra and Todd had a little scene where they met up. To talk about the whole money issue, I believe they squashed it. Y'all let me know exactly what happened. But I don't think Todd is going to get any money out of Phaedra. I really don't. But I could be wrong. Y'all let me know, like I said, um, what happened. Um, Okay. Cynthia has a whole eyewear moment um, where, well, no, I'll get to that later. Um, let's just get Kenya and her daddy out the way. Um, Kenya and her dad, they talk and they meet up at the park. And we learn a little history about Kenya a little bit more than we knew. Um, that her dad stayed in Texas, Houston, Texas, to be exact. H town bitches, bow down bitches, and um, pretty much, you know, she didn't like it down there. At some point, she stayed with him. I guess when she was a teen or whatever, and she ended up going back to Detroit, where she's from. Um, and, and he got really emotional. He was like, I felt like I failed you. I felt like you didn't want me or it wasn't good enough here for you. And she was just like, no, I just didn't like the environment. I didn't like the neighborhood, the school. I didn't like anything about it. Um, but, you know, that was a chance for um, for him and his family, his entire family to be together. I guess he had more kids or whatever. So, you know, they really hurt him. And, you know, they have a moment. Next episode, um, we see Kenya. She's actually knocking on her mom's door. Her mom, who never talked to her, apparently, according to her, and who never claimed her as as being her daughter. So um, we should definitely see how that goes. And I'm actually very interested in that, um, to see how that goes. And, you know, everybody needs a mom, I feel, you know. Um, so anyway, we get to the whole eyewear thing. Cynthia um, is giving, like, a, um, a customer appreciation thing because people have really been supporting her eyeglasses, her shades, and all that stuff. And... People bought them. Okay. They look nice, though. Um, let's see if she got some on discount. I'll get them. Because right now, the girls are maxed out on their um, debit cards. My God. Kids don't want to overdraft fee. Um, so, they're talking. And um, Kim arrives first and with these hideous pants on. Somebody give Kim, Kim a stylist. Kim Fields. Tootie Boots. Somebody, Regine has style. Bring, give me Regine. I don't know what she's giving me. She's giving me um, dish jockey tees or something. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, she comes in. Kenya comes in. She snatched as usual. Um, Candace comes in. Just the grinning. You know, all excited and stuff. Um, who else? So Cynthia and Kenya, um, they start to talk and, and then... Kim, and she's adding to the conversation, and Cynthia talked to both Kim and Kenya. She was just like, look, I can't decide which one of y'all directors I want to, because I want to shoot a commercial for this. So I'm trying to decide which one of y'all, which, which you know, out of you two, which one do I want? And Kim was just like, it's just about what's best for you. And Kim and Kenya together, like their little back and forth moments, I think that's good. I like that. I still think Kim need, need, need to leave the show just for her own good. Um... And for a family's own good. Uh, but uh, Kim and Kenya together, like, going back and forth and throwing shade at each other is really funny. All right. Um, so, anyway, Kenya, she starts to talk to Don Juan and all that. Portia comes in with this dress ahead of Tony Braxton split. Um, and they start to talk. And Portia was just like, um, Kenny, can I talk to you? Kenny was just like, yeah, I guess. So, um, they come over, they walk over, whatever, and talk. 
Don Juan's throwing shade the whole time. Oh, Portia's so fake. Portia this and that. She's phony, basically. It was just fake. And um, so Don Juan was like, oh, I feel like I need to come over. I need to be over there. He come Carmen in her bangs. And she was like, oh, I feel like I need to go over there, too. Carmen, your ass wasn't even present for the whole thing that um, Don Juan heard or whatever. The little snippet that he heard with um, the three girls talking. Like, just mess. So they go over and talk. Push is just like, oh, um, I want to talk to Candy alone, please. And um, Candy was just like, um, well, I'm not going to give you that much energy, Portia, anyway. And, you know, she was just being real um, smart or whatever. She had her little backup. She had her team there. And so that made Portia upset, naturally. And so Portia just walked out. I would have walked out, too. Portia was just like, I don't need fucking Candy Factory, the whole team, to come over here and try to jump me or whatever. So Portia um, and Shamia, they go outside and talk. And then here comes Carmen in her bangs. And she comes over and, and she comes outside to talk. She was just like, no, Portia, it's not like that and this and that. And Portia was just like, girl, bye. Why am I even talking to you? I was kind of feeling Portia. Even though Portia was kind of acting superior and she, she really shouldn't act like that. Um, but I completely understand. It had nothing to do with them. So why are you even like... Portia was just like, bitch, why are you talking to me? Why am I talking to you about this? This ain't got nothing to do with you. Portia storms off. Um, it was just um, crazy. I'm talking shit about Carmen and her bangs, but she her bangs look good on her, actually, in this episode. Um. Okay, so the ending scene was Portia and um, Candy meeting up. Portia had on some nasty boots, nasty white boots, I believe. It was snatched. And um, so they come over and they talk and, you know, they kind of just get straight into it. It's real awkward. And, you know, Portia was just like, look, you know, nothing was said about you. We didn't trash talk you at your event, Candy. Well, you did. You was talking about me negatively at my event. So that's what happened. And Portia was just like, no, 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 no. Don't be like that. It's not the case or whatever. Um... And, look, if you feel like I'm taking sides with Phaedra, that's just because she need me more than you do. Her husband is gone. Candy was just like, she wanted that nigga to leave. She wanted him to leave. She been wanting him to leave. And Portia was just like, no, she didn't. Like, you don't understand. Like, you've never been through a divorce. Um, and, you know, one day you like him, one day you don't. One day you're in love, one day you're not. It's, it's difficult or whatever. The kid, the father of her child is gone and, Candy, you know, she kind of calmed out or whatever. She's pregnant, so she's, you know, her emotions, her hormones is, like, on on fleek right now. And so they talk, and, and Candy kind of simmered down. She was just like, well, I guess I understand you being there for Phaedra, because I was there for Phaedra, too. Um, And that was pretty much the end of the episode. Um, I don't know. It was just craziness. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Don Juan and Carmen and all that coming over there. I, I, I completely respect somebody standing up for their friends or whatever, but you let them fight your own battles. They'll let you know if they need you. You feel me? Only if somebody's getting jumped, I feel like you should jump in, if that makes sense. Not just physically, but just, you know, period. Um, But whatever. Um, but we shall see. You guys let me know um, about what I said in the earlier, earlier in the... um video, you know, let me know what you guys think that I should, um, review the Potomac and, and all that good stuff, and, and y'all gotta check up on Love and Hip Hop and all those moments, and you guys, um, yeah, I'm sorry about the lateness, but shit happens, I ain't even, you know, y'all know, it's, it's life, whatever, um, but, um, I love you guys, um, if I have any new subscribers, hello, um, I love you guys to pieces, darlings, thank you so much, happy new year, thanks for sticking with me and um let's make this year a great year all right mr Sherlock on google plus follow me at is kings world on twitter at is kings world on instagram at is kings world 89 on snapchat darlings and chase he was here on facebook all right see you guys later